The team just gravitates towards him, Matt. They look at him at practice. They're mesmerized by what this kid could do. And obviously, all the scouts are the, the hockey first of world. six matchups between these two. And we are underway. The puck has dropped in Brampton. Enjoy the night. Enjoy the season. The Steelheads take the puck with Finn Harding, and he skates it over the line for the first time at the CAA Center. A centering pass is cut off there by Thomas. And Brantford will spin back the other way with the captain dumping it in on Ivan Kovic, who had sparkling numbers at the Halinka Gretzky tournament, back stopping Canada with a goals against average of under one and a save percentage of over 9-6-0. Finn Harding drafted by the Pittsburgh Penguins the last offseason, feeds over to the captain, Porter Martone. Martone will be 18 in just a couple of weeks, but he's, he's wearing getting the some seat. work right now from coach uh, from athletic trainer Ben Brower there. Face off in the Bulldog zone. It's taken by Brantford to the line, but not out. First shift on the night for Carson Rakoff. Second round pick of the Seattle Kraken, an electric player who led the league in power play goals last year. Pass goes down to Parker Von Richter and his centering pass is cut off by the Bulldogs. Von Richter will give it another try to Porter Martone. Back to Fibiger. he takes a shot. Stopped by Leanders and it's taken back by Calvin Crombie and the Bulldogs are able to exit the zone. Testa chasing after the puck, trying to establish a four check, unable to do so, it comes back to Moore. He's bothered by Rakoff, former Kitchener Ranger, who had three really good seasons and has 100 career OHL goals in his career. Another shot, short side, stopped by Leaners. Steelheads have had a good beat on the puck and a good beat on their former teammate, out shooting Brantford so far. Big showed a lot of promise on the fourth line last year for Brampton. Another draw won by the Bulldogs, who have spent the majority of this first period in their own end. This one flipped up and down the ice, no icing as Crombie gets to the puck first to negate the call. Crombie is pushed up against the boards by Reed Gee, split last year between the Flint Firebirds and the Steelheads. Tough customer, McDonnell plays it down. Icing again negated as Leanders plays the puck and this is again down the ice as these two teams will play a little yeah, dump. A, and a little bit too far in front of his teammates wearing the black. Another draw one by the Bulldogs, a spinning centering pass. Goes for Nodge, the Steel has to retreat back on defense and that is offside so Thomas has to spin back into his own zone. Lavoie on the power play. Former Steelhead chips the puck in. Teammates give chase. Puck comes to the line. It's over the head and glove of Thomas. He's unable to hold it in and has to go back out to neutral territory. And Lavoie will backhand it back into his own end. 55 seconds gone in the first power play of the night. And one thing to mention, Matt, as well, Nick Lardis, Merrick Van Acker, both out for Brantford tonight. That is huge. Couple of NHL drafted prospects. This is O'Brien. O'Brien moves towards the middle. He's on his back end, though, and didn't want to attempt that from the slot area and the Steelheads will gobble it right back up and it's the speedy Rakoff. Great move, Rakoff just wide. Could have been a sweet shorty for Carson Rakoff who went inside out on the Brantford defense. That was pretty. Pass was off the side of the goal. Now comes to the near side, taken back by Thomas. Thomas floats the pass looking for Testa on a line with Calvin Crombie here as well for Brantford. Taken back by the Steelheads. Now there'll be a power play. Delayed penalty coming up as Ivan Kovic hurries to the bench. Extra attack. Well, there's a quick shot. Angus McDonnell stopped Besky by Lee. Tripped up. Second unit staying out there for the majority. On comes Porter Martone now as the Steelheads regroup. Porter Martone, Steelheads 33 goal man last year. He has Misa on the left side. Misa circles in behind the goal. Has good speed. Fibiger at the top of the power play. But it's still Misa. Now drops it off to Porter Martone. Back to Fibiger at the top. Misa's on the left side. Centering pass in front. That was blocked in front by Proz. And he got that one up high. Didn't expect it to. But he did a good job getting in the lane. Another loose puck on the far side. There's going to be a steelheads penalty here as it looks like Crombie got a And Leanders makes the save and the penalty is killed off as Porter Martone back out of the penalty box. Two great chances for Carson Rakoff. Yeah, we've seen those hands and that hockey sense not once but twice. Rakoff creates so much space for himself. Centering pass comes from the Bulldogs. That's denied by Ivan Kovic as Holmes took the shot. Had a sharp angle. 90 seconds to go in the opening frame. Scoreless between... 
the battle of the two B cities, Brantford and Brampton. Taken by Rakoff, who's still on the ice, shifts a pass to his own end, that's Sova. Sova's pass tipped in by McDonnell. McDonnell will just make sure the puck gets in deep to Sherna. Up the near side wall, out to the neutral zone, cut off there by Carmiris. A minute to go in the opening period. Carmiris, a backhand centering pass through the crease, out the other side. Finn Harding, back to Fibiger, looks to shoot. Back to Martone, his shot. Might have been some friendly fire as McDonnell was in front. Puck comes from the near side, hash mark, and McDonnell tried a backhand pass. That was easily intercepted, though, out to the neutral zone again. Steelhead's perhaps fortunate there that that wasn't a call against them as a couple of players go down in the neutral zone. Here's Martone. He's in. Shot. Scores. And the new captain in Brampton, Porter Martone, has got the first. one nothing. Steelheads. What a play by Martone there. You get the zone entry, and then you slow things down. Things open up for himself. as you mentioned 16 times beating him legally once and certainly looking to do it a lot more here in this middle frame steel has did have an early goal call back on an offside here we go puck drop in period number two steel Ed's moving from left to right here in this middle frame with brantford defending the net to our right another chance that comes in front and mcdonnell just misses on a nifty backhand in front Comes down to the captain martone has it hop over his stick and that allows the bulldogs to skate through the Neutral zone. As a familiar voice in these parts in Peel region, Tony Ambrosio announces the first ever Brampton Steelheads goal. There's a hot shot by Rakoff, who was electric at times in that first period. Had a really nice shorthanded breakaway, and then made a terrific move to put himself in alone a second time. And both times, Ryerson Leaners was up to the challenge. 55 seconds gone here in the middle frame. Puck turned over, almost turned over. Taken back by Carmiris and Sova at the end of a shift just dumps it in. Leaners is out of the goal. Mentioned Rakoff tied for the OHL lead in power play goals last year. Had 16 of them. Also had 10 game winning goals. That was tied for first and was second in insurance goals. All that to say, Zach, he did a lot of scoring last year. Second in total OHL goals. Here's Martone. He's in over the line for... The Brampton Steelheads, Rakoff to his left, pass doesn't come to Rakoff, and it's over the stick of Sova and down the ice. And the Steelheads will have to group back in their own end as Ivan Kovic for a second was in no man's land, but good patience from the young goalkeeper with a nice little fake to Sherna peeled off, and now Brampton will skate to the neutral zone with 40 seconds down on the penalty to Testa. Martone is in, has McDonnell to his left. And he was quickly checked. This is a good penalty kill here so far from Brantford. Down the ice, quick pass from Ivan Kovic looking for Sova. Sova didn't like the look of the rush with Patrick Thomas bearing down. So he spins back into his own end and it's Martone again. Martone, a little flip pass broken up again by the Bulldogs who have killed off a minute and five seconds and counting. Down the ice, steel heads get called with Finn Harding in the penalty box. Quick movement, chance in front. O'Brien shot, second chance just wide of the goal as the Steelers have been under fire here for the last three or four minutes. Clinging right now to a 1-0 lead midway through the hockey game. Here's Testa, back in over the line, has teammates. Lavoie, top of the right circle, shot partially blocked. Fibiger goes in behind the net to take it, trying to relieve some of the pressure. And here is Martone, one on three, and he's unable to get the puck out, at least on the first try. Second try as Martone stuck with it down the ice. And that's the great play of Porter Martone. High danger chances for both teams, but both goaltenders, Matt, as you said, have been excellent. Face-off coming in the steelhead zone. It was won by Brampton, back in behind the net. McDonnell is unable to clear the zone. A weak shot comes from the far side, easily steered aside by Ivan Kovic. Comes back up to the point. Mishandled, though, and here's Martone looking for number two. Porter Martone, centering pass, scores! Angus McDonnell make it two for Brampton. And there's Porter Martone again showing off all the tools. He anticipates the play, and then he drives down the wing. He opens things up for Angus McDonnell on the backside. As the Brampton and captain, this time he plays setup man. And Angus McDonnell, who had 32 on the season last year, he gets his first, and the Dallas Stars prospect 
gives the Brampton Steelheads a 2-0 lead. 6.25 to go. Good response shift coming from the Bulldogs as they get a centering pass towards the front of the goal. Fibiger did well to defend that, and the puck is now out to the neutral zone. Roberts plays back over there to Prots, Montreal Canadiens prospect, to Patrick Thomas. Thomas looking for the late trailer. It was Roberts, couldn't get a puck past the captain for the Steelheads. That's Martone, but Martone couldn't clear it. Here's Crombie to Thomas. Puck comes to the short side, and it's off the side netting and in behind the net. And now Luke Meese. Face off to the right of Leanders, and it's won back by the Steelheads. Perhaps another penalty was in order there as one of the Steelheads is down. It's McDonnell. Looks like he got a stick to the face or something to the face. Heads off the ice in a lot of pain. The Steelheads' second goal score will get looked at by the medical staff. And the difference here at CAA, Matt, you can't just walk to the dressing room. You have to skate across, so that's a big difference here. 4.05 to go second period. Puck in the neutral zone taken back by Martona. Goal and an assist tonight. In his debut as the Brampton Steelheads captain, Martone gets it back to Sova, walks the line, takes the shot, tipped in front, got a couple of players up high and not cleared by the Bulldogs. Martone and Sova played over to Rakoff, who has been very dangerous tonight, but has not scored. Martone down to the goal line to Misa. Misa looks towards the front of the goal. Rakoff is there, stopped by Leanders. Big save from the Brantford goaltender moving from left to right. Good blocker save. Martone winds up. Fanned on the slap shot, though. In behind the net, it's Misa. Misa's wrestled down. His centering pass comes in front. Out of the reach of one of the steelheads. That was Jack Van Volsen. And with 50 seconds to go in the penalty to Chen, it's dumped down the ice by the Bulldogs. Well, good puck movement there by Brampton. Very quickly, as you said, that would have happened if it wasn't offside. Face off outside the Brampton blue line now. Or the Brantford bull, blue line now, I should say. Krimpotic is back in his own end. 1.35 to go in the four-on-four -four situation, but a five-second difference between shot and game clock, and Brantford will skate to the neutral zone here. O'Brien hammers on the brakes, looks for options, plays it over to Roberts. Noah Roberts, third-year defenseman, just lightly saucers the puck in below the goal line on this four-on-four -four situation. Taken there by Jake O'Brien. A hard pass back to the point. Roberts is shot, steered away by Ivan Kovic who directed a Y with the right pad. Martone, lots of room to skate, wheels in behind his net, great pass ahead to the defense, but Sova, he's in, scores! First as a steelhead for the overager, Spencer Sova, pretty finish. So it's gonna be a quick sequence here, with Zabeski and Morbo standing in the penalty box, set to come back on, and the Bulldogs do a good job winning the draw down the ice. That's it for the four on three. So it's a five on four power play, but the period counts down with three, two, and one, and a big middle frame. For and of course, the Bulldogs will try and Hope for an uphill comeback and play spoiler here at the CAA Center. Dropping the puck on period number three. Controlled quickly by the Steelheads and a little bit of a missed pass there from Sova and Martone, who looked so good, Zach, at the end of that second period on Sova's first as a Steelhead. That one off of his skates and out to the neutral zone. Rakoff, who has three shots on goal, he's a plus two in his Brampton debut. On the ice, enjoying some power play time right now. Martone, quick pass in the middle, looking for Van Volsen. Centering pass in front, scores! And that is number one for Carson Rakoff. Last year's 52 goal. Sova after the one draw from the Steelheads. Martone is back on the ice. Sova and Martone switch spots. Sova, top of the left circle, wants to go back towards the middle again, plays to the right side, and Rakoff, who just cashed in on the power play, flexes his stick as he misfired wide. It's all the way down the ice. So Noah Nelson picking up the instigator along with five for fighting. Same for Adam Zidlicki. McDonnell is in his shot well off the target, comes back to Rakoff, holds it at the right point, 30. Five seconds gone, and Brampton's fifth man advantage of the hockey game. Rakoff in the middle, pass for Van Volsen. He was in tight quarters, couldn't handle the pass, and it's down the ice again. And I think a little bit of indecision there, Rakoff in his debut. 27 saves on 31 shots. Leanders has got a new home. Grew up on the shores of Lake Erie. This is offside here on a good amount Brantford. of games played in this league. Absolutely. 
Played a lot more than he thought he would as a 16-year-old especially. Down the ice, 14-20 as the Steel has a whistle. the NHL draft, he got selected by Buffalo. Thought he might go a lot earlier than he did, so he took that personally, he wants to prove them wrong. Block shot comes from the captain, Martone. Him and McDonnell communicate. It's McDonnell on the puck. He was neatly poke-checked away, though, by Protz. And back to the neutral zone come the Bulldogs again. Barely on side. Brown tries a centering pass, looking for Testa. Testa pushes Harding down. More physical play, and there's going to be a whistle. The net came off on the Brantford side. Yeah. Well, they have their home opener tomorrow. And, of course, these two teams both found new homes relatively recently there's a tip in front that was well on top of the bar and that will be whistled as a high stick the new vis uh, facility and here in Brampton they love it a lot more than they did in Mississauga so certainly nice to be wanted oh, by the city as well is just hammered by Reed Gee and Reed Gee is going to answer the bell with Lucas Moore we got another scrap here comes Gee comes firing up the linesman there who <laughs> took no prisoners on that exchange that Little skirmish was over before it started. Have to get his workout routine after the game. Well, I think you do pretty well, my friend. <laughs> you do you do just fine. Me, on the other hand, not so much. <laughs> so we play four on four with 4.30 to go. It's a six nothing lead for the Brampton Steelheads. This has been an emphatic performance in front of the home fans. In behind the goal, taken back by Long, and Long skates with two of his teammates with the neutral zone. Avery bumped as he dumps the puck in. Krimpotic unable to hold it in too, and that will allow the Steelheads wearing the white uniforms and blue trim.